In today's video, I am excited about something and look at one of the most amazing fish I have ever owned. Hello everyone, this is Paul the Inventory King. Hope you guys are all having an awesome day and enjoying your fish. Now, let's go ahead and talk about some new fish. As you guys all know, recently I picked up some new fish, some predators, some common haps. In a previous video, I showed everybody what the predators are looking like in their new tank, the 220. Check it out. Those are some awesome fish and they are settling in nicely. But what about the other fish that I got? There's a handful of new fish that I haven't shown you guys in a while and how they've settled in. So let's go ahead and take a look. So first things first, the common hat tank that I had here in the fish room has got some new fish in it that I picked up and have been through QT and have been put into the tank. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the new ones. This guy here is the Bodzulu that I picked up from the Cichlid Shack, settling in nicely. Awesome. Now this guy is an absolute stud. Picked him up from the Cichlid Shack. The Protomelis Tangerine Tiger. Look at the fins on that fish. It's going to come around this corner right here. Blue and yellow and orange and just an absolute beast. Oh man. Thank you, James. So one of the other new ones was what I picked up from the Wet Spot Tropical Fish. Uh, my local store up in Portland, Oregon, is the Z-Rock Lithobates. Now this guy is doing awesome. A true strain Lithobates. He's got amazing yellow. The blaze is something to behold. Pretty freaking awesome, if I do say so myself. The Z-Rock Lithobates. I love how his blaze is stained. That's awesome. Sometimes they kind of lose those blazes. Okay, what else is in this tank that is new? Here it is right here. It's the Tyanio Lethronops Privitalis. Getting some big size. Look at the egg spots on that anal fin. This guy is getting some good size on him and you can tell he ain't far from starting to show some good color. The Tyanio Lethanops Privatalis. This one was from The Wonder of Cichlids. As far as what's in this tank, I believe that is all the new ones in this one. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other ones and see how they are doing. So this guy right here is the, I forget the first name, but it's a, uh, I think it's Spilopsuous Yellow. Got to get this guy to do some turning here. He's got some nice, he's got some nice, nice color to him. He's got some yellow and I, I like him. He's a nice fish. He had some great color in here. Here is a Madoka White Lip. Let's take a look here. There's another Madoka White Lip. Here's a Madoka White Lip. This one is from James. Absolute beast mode. So what I'm actually doing is the small one here and the small one there. I have uh, somebody local, a hobbyist, coming to pick these two up. Um, I'm not going to be breeding Madoka White Lips anymore. At least not for a while. I'm gonna be trying something new. But this male is sticking into the show tank and he is looking awesome. All right, this guy here, we got the Copidochromus Borlei. Another from James. 
and the fins on this dude. Look at those pelvic fins. They are absolutely amazing. They are, they're just so flowy and so long. It's just, it's a very awesome thing as be, being a fish keeper is having fish with amazing, amazing fins. Something else. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, and last but not least, probably the most colorful fish in this tank, the Phoenix from James. And this guy is probably one of my favorite fish. It's got that amazing, amazing orange blaze, blue cheeks and a purple, red, pink body white tips on the fins, gold egg spots. This guy is something special. I mean, just amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Loving this guy. So that is the update on this tank, but we got another one to go through. Let's take a look. That Phoenix is one of the most awesome fish I have ever had. Just the variety of color, stud, love it. And all the other fish in that tank are doing great. I'm really happy about it. Um, and I'm looking forward to adding a couple more. I definitely want to have a common half tank. I do love the common halves as well. So now let's go ahead and take a look at that tank. Now, in this 40 gallon breeder are the other new fish. So we'll start off with this guy. This is the Tramidia Chromis Canberry. Moved him in here because he was in that tank, but he just wasn't getting enough food and I wanted to get him in a tank where he could get more food to thicken up. He just wasn't getting enough food. Okay, that one was from the Wonder of Cichlids. This guy, the Placida Chromis VC10 from the Wet Spot up in Portland. That dude's looking awesome as well. Okay, now this guy here, not sure what's going on with him. Uh, when I got him, he was fine. He eats, um, treated him with general cure and he, you know, he eats and stuff now, but he's not putting any more size on. Not sure why he's not thickening up. Pretty, uh, pretty frustrated about that one. This is one of the Champsochromus spilos, the other Champsochromus, and here is the other one. Both of them are doing well. That one is a little bit bigger, getting a little bit more food than this guy, but they're looking really nice. Obviously got a long way to go, but very, very, very excited to have this fish. There's the other guy right there, the Milochromus Imchus in the back there. He's finally got some nice size onto him. He's thickening up and uh, he's looking good. So all in all, happy with this tank. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with this guy. Um, yeah. Beast. Thanks for watching the video, everyone. I hope you guys can comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and stay tanked.